Pediatric bipolar disorder is defined by a cluster of symptoms that consists of the young person experiencing decreased need for sleep, and that means they feel that they no longer need as much sleep as they needed before, and they're not tired the next day when they get up. They're very talkative, and it's, it's a talkativeness that's unusual from their baseline. They have increased level of um, energy. They seem unusually unhappy. They may have unusual thoughts about their abilities and things that they can do, which we describe as grandiosity. So all of a sudden, a young person may tell their parents or convince they're going to be a famous singer, and the parents say, well, they've not been taking any voice lessons. We don't know how that's possible. Um, they may have some more interesting ideas and projects that they're jumping from at, at many um, at constant, constant pace that the parents feel they can't keep track of them. They may start laughing inappropriately. They may engage in very risky behaviors. There may be um, sexual type behaviors that are unusual for that young person. Um, and a cluster of those symptoms are often referred to as mania and physicians look to see if it's been consistently occurring for at least seven days. The other part of this illness is that the young person can also experience depression. So you can see mania, which is all this increased happiness and activity and decreased need for sleep, and then it can actually cycle to what we call depression. So a very low mood, feeling very sad, tearful, not able to get out of bed, maybe sleeping too much, poor concentration, not having, en not having energy. And sometimes a young person with bipolar disorder can have both those types of symptoms, the high energy, the decreased lack of sleep, the constant talking mixed in with feeling very sad, weepy, and what we call dysphoric, and a, what we call a mixed episode. So you can see sort of a combination of those things. One of the more serious side effects with this um, um, illness is psychosis, which is where the young person may think that they're seeing things or hearing things that are not there. And another serious side effect is having thoughts of wanting to end one's life or in fact actually making a suicide attempt. So it is very difficult for parents sometimes to completely understand the behaviors that they're seeing that their child go, go through. The, the most important thing is if the behavior seems different from their usual baseline, or usually how their child is, if it's something that's significantly different, mm -hmm. that's one thing that the parent needs to think about. And the thing about bipolar disorder is that it's discrete periods of time. Parents will describe, my child was doing well maybe sometimes a little too active, but nothing that was consistent and pers persistent that was causing them any functioning problems. But now there's a change. There's a real change in my child's behavior that is very different from their usual behavior. So that's one thing. The other thing a parent should do is to seek um, consultation from their pediatrician or their primary care provider to have that child be seen in case there's other medical issues that might be going on to, le to be leading to this change. There are symptoms of bipolar disorder that um, overlap with other types of psychiatric disorders like attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. So children with that can be very hyper, they can be very active, they can be very talkative. Um, but it's really something that's sort of consistent but not sort of these real extremes. And it doesn't come in cycles. The parent will say, well yes, my child's always been a more active child having trouble to, with concentrating impulsive, those young people can be very up, can, can get into, to be challenging to their parents, but it's not the same type of extreme changes that you'll see in terms of how they're thinking, mm -hmm. their actually affect level, the temper outbursts, the mood outbursts um, that you can see in bipolar disorder.